Okay, folks, so I want to show you, I just put up on the video channel as I was riding in the car. In about three hours, I had made uh, about $62. So tomorrow, I'm going to get out there at 8 a.m. and work from 8 to about 3. Uh, now, this is what I made today. $102 in three hours and 49 minutes. Now, for me, I will tell you, I prefer Uber over DoorDash. Uh, plus, DoorDash just has um, there's a lot of there's a lot of orders that come through, and you can have the same thing happen to you with Uber. You just have to be careful about what you pick. Better check the miles first. But they Uber is uh, have, I think they pay better than than Lyft here in this market here in Metro Detroit. Uh, I had a, a lot of orders come through. That was fifteen, twenty, twenty-five dollars pickups. I gotta stop saying orders because quarter orders. I'm thinking about DoorDash, but um, you're gonna drive regardless whether you're gonna be with DoorDash or uh, Uber. Okay, you're gonna be driving. Period. But for me, I just prefer to do Uber because it's easier on gas. People say, "Well, how do you think?" Because you're driving constantly. You're not stopping the car completely, getting out of it, going to get your order, coming back in, cranking it back up some more. Um, but this is what I've done in three hours and 49 minutes. So it's my first day with Uber, okay? Now, you can instantly cash out. Now, I just got my Uber cash card today, but I had this money going towards my credit union, which actually isn't a good thing. My fiance told me, just leave it there because... You know, I pay my car note, my Malibu, through the credit union so I could go out in a few days, folks, and make my car note 100 bucks a day. Now, given you could do you could do what you want to do with it, you could actually make two, three hundred a day if you stuck with it and took a bunch of a bunch of riders. OK, you could actually do that. Um, but, you know, I do work full time, 12 hours. I work on a swing shift, so I don't work 12 hours daily. I'm like, one week I get three days off, the next I get two. So those days that I'm off in the morning, I'm going to be out driving. Um, but I'm not doing any Ubering at night. I want to see who these people are to get in my car during the day. Um, and for me, I wasn't nervous about it because, you know, I'm already doing DoorDash, so I'm already out there, you know, in the gig economy, what they call it. So by me just starting, you know, uh, there's promotions. You click over here. You click promotions. You do 70 trips by Friday. I ain't going to do no 70 trips by Friday. That's that's something I would have to start it. I mean, or you're just going to be going ham on taking folks. Um, then they have another one over here, complete 90 trips and get a $285 bonus. So if you click on that, okay, so you can edit the quest selection until Friday, 12 a.m. So if you do 90 trips, okay, then it says plus 10 trips, okay, and then they give you uh, $285 for the 90, if I'm looking at that correctly, and then you get another $45, as it says 45 plus or plus 45, you get that. I'm hoping I'm reading that correctly. So you go to Quest 2, you do 80 trips, it's $245. 20 plus trips is 85, okay? So if you do, now I can uncheck that. I'm going to go back and uncheck it. But one of the things I will say when you first use this app, get to know with it, play with it first before, you know, you get out there in the street. But... If you're already doing DoorDash, uh, Grubhub, the, the, the apps all work the same. It's just a different format, different layout. It only takes you one and two trips. And you'll say, oh, okay, I got it. So you, once you drop off somebody, you can hit um, go offline and go take a break. You know, for me, sitting down in the car for a few for hours, you know, you might want to get up and stretch your legs, walk a little bit, go to the mall, walk around, get you something to eat. Take, and then also, too, what I noticed that their GPS doesn't 
burn up my battery life. I got an iPhone 13 Pro Max. It doesn't burn up my battery life like the DoorDash uh, GPS. I noticed that this one um, is a little easier on the battery, okay? So let's go to the details. Every Uber leg, comma, ride, comma, and delivery is eligible. If available in your city, this is the big thing, folks. It has to be available in your city and during the applicable, applicable or applicable, okay, promotion. That's always a hard word to say. Prom uh, promotional period. Each leg of your Uber pool trip will count towards your promotion. If you reach one more, if you reach more than one quest go, you will receive the amount for the highest that you've achieved. Service fee is not applied to your quest earnings. Uh, customer or driver cancellations do not count toward your promotion. Uber reserves the right to withhold and deduct payments in the event of an error. Suspect fraud, okay, uh, illegal or violation of driver terms or these terms, promotions are subject to change or withdraw at any time without notice. So don't trip if it goes away all of a sudden, is what they're saying. Okay? So, um, these are all the quests that they have. 4 a.m. From 4 a.m. Friday to 4 a.m. Monday is when these quests are. Now, this is like, okay, so if you're doing 90, 80 trips, folks, now, I can see doing 10 in a what I like to call a shift, okay? Because if I go from 8 to 3, 8 to 4, I'm not going to be out there all day like that. Now, because like I say, you do have to rest. You do have to, you know, go home and eat stretched out, being cramped up in your car all day. You want to make it a full day of work, full 8 hours, you know. So uh, you're looking at 8 to 3, 8 to 4, Okay. Uh, full eight hours driving, and if you can do a hundred dollars, I did. I did a hundred in three hours, my first day. Now, granted, the second, just like with DoorDash, the second day and the third day, you get better, okay? Because you start learning different little things to do, what not to do, okay? If you put it in your mind that I know here in Detroit, the east side of Detroit, uh, there are bigger, bigger fares. Ten, fifteen dollars, because people want to. People got to go to work. Had to jump on the E-way a couple times. Ninety-four West, ninety-four East. Took took one girl to school. Um, took another person from. We were downtown Detroit, Jefferson Ave. Took the guy all the way up to nineteen mile, but it was an it was a fifteen dollar fare. Now dig this. I took somebody from Garden City Hospital to their house, which was maybe. A 10-minute ride, I was 20 bucks. So it's crazy because some shorter rides pay more than some of the longer rides pay pretty good. But it just depends on what it is at the time that they need a ride. And just like DoorDash, this thing will pop up, folks, with other rides. And I don't like that. Okay, that's one thing I don't like. Um, like DoorDash, like if you go to IHOP and you want to go get you're going to go pick up some ice food. It'll say, hey, add this to your route for an extra two. So I'm driving somebody, and I have like three or four pop-ups happen. You know, that kind of distracting for me. I wish I, I wish there was a way I could turn that feature off. It's my first day playing with the app, so I'll probably go through and look. But it will offer you different rides while you are on a mission right at that moment, which I don't like. I like to finish the ride first, and then, you know, um, and so there were like, I say about a good six, seven, I didn't even click on because, you know, for me, I don't want to get beside myself and say, well, I'm, I'm taking this person and this thing is throwing me three or four different rides to go pick up. The money was good, looking at 10, 12, some were eight, some were seven, you know, 10, 11, $12. Not bad money, but I'm looking at the distance and then they don't give you a, um, you know, like DoorDash, they give you 30 seconds, maybe 60 seconds. This thing was like pop up in your face, and if you don't click it in the next three seconds, you know, so when you get that on your phone, don't be quick to click on it, you know, because look at the mileage, too. Just like DoorDash, watch your mileage. Uh, we're in this to drive, but at the same time, uh, you, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to be going out of town. 
at the same time, so to speak. So just watch out what you're doing as far as when them pop-ups happen, you know, uh, you will get offers like that. Now, here's some other offers that they have. Sign up for $1.50 extra on every trip from 11 a.m. to 12. And these are only for like an hour. So what I've noticed that within an hour, I can probably do two, maybe three fares. So this is, these are not for all day. If you can look, if you see, they're only, they're only for an hour. Okay, sign up and get $3 on extra on every extra trip, on every trip. Okay, $3 extra on every trip. So you got 4, a, 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. You only got an hour. So how many can you pop off within that time? So uh, now DoorDash is similar because they give you peak times you can go deliver food. So similar to DoorDash in that way. Okay. But for me, I, I prefer Uber over um, DoorDash because I'm not hopping in and out of the car. I'm constantly driving. I burn less gas. No, that sounds funny, but it's just, uh, it just, just, it, that's how it worked out today. Okay. Uh, reservations. You can click on this and uh, you can reserve, I believe. Let's see, clear filters. Let's go back to promotions. You got something saved in here. No, I don't have anything saved. Uh, so this is my first day using the cash out was great. It went right to my, you can do four a day. Okay. You can do four cash outs a day. Okay. So I made $102 today in three hours and 50 minutes, almost four hours. I made $102 my first day. Now I'm, I'm telling you my second day, I'm trying to double that because I'm going to start at eight tomorrow morning, Friday. I'm going to start at 8 a.m. and get it popping. Okay. Uh, I already got it in my mind. I'm going to be driving, so I don't even get no attitude. And that's the other thing, dealing with folks, you have to ride behind these dum-dums. And, then, you know, it seems like, you know, we're driving in a funeral a lot of times. And you got to remember, you got somebody in your car. You can't be on a-hole mode driving. Okay, you can't do that. All right. So let me show you another thing in the app that you can do, which if you're on this video, I'm, I'm referring you. Okay. So... I heard about Uber Eats. I'm not doing Uber Eats. Earn two dollars and fifty cents extra on every trip from three to four p.m. July twenty second in those particular areas. I do believe. Okay, where it's shaded. This side here in Detroit, it's busy in that area. I was all over in that shaded area. The bigger money was over there. Now, I stay here in Wayne Westland. Detroit is a big city, if you don't know. Um, and this may not seem far apart, but it is, trust and believe. You know, if I'm in Livonia, Farmington, these are all the upper, uh, what we call, um, metro area of Detroit, okay, uh, Southfield. You don't get into Detroit until you're in uh, this area here, okay? This is Detroit. Now... I was all up and through here earlier. I didn't go to Sterling Heights, but I went way out to 19 Mile to drop somebody off at physical therapy. That was a good fare. Um, but Metro is a big city. It's, it's this, so Uber is, and, and all the rest of the gig work is great for this kind of city because there's a lot of people here. At one time, we had a million, two million. Now we're down to 500,000. A lot of people have moved out. I ain't originally from here myself. I am from uh, Columbus, Ohio. But um, now I could come out here and work Romulus. That's a shaded area because that's the airport. So you're going to get a lot of airport runs, which would be a lot of money there. Okay. So work in the airport area would be good to do as well. Um, but. You go to your inbox, you have successfully cashed out $102.17. It went into my uh, credit union. Great. I even got a $5.69 tip. Trust and believe, folks, your car makes all the difference in how it looks. And it's being clean. Uh, you know, I had the air on. It's hot up here. And nobody complained about the air. I know me and my... Uh, uh, former wife, we had went out to Vegas last year. It was 105 degrees every day in Vegas during the summer. 
and we were happy to be, jump in somebody's car that had air. So if you have a good air conditioning, that is also a blessing because nobody complained about not, you know, about having the air on. Okay, so what you're going to do uh, when you get your app, you want to refer people. You can make money just by referring people, and they got to do at least 100, 100 trips, okay? Wherever, whatever your location is, when they complete their 100 trips, you get the bonus. So $400 for a new user. Make up to $400 for each new user or each new driver you invite who completes 100 trips, okay? So underneath the video will be a link in the description, and this will be the link, okay? So you want to, let me see if I can, if it pops up, okay? So there's a, well, you'll see the link in the description, okay? So uh, now the other one is $200 for a returning user. Invite a friend who did not drive or deliver since December 31st, 2021 and get $200 when they sign up and complete 50 trips in their first 30 days, okay? Their first 30 days. So the person who I signed up under, if I get my 100 uh, trips under my belt, there's a $1,200 bonus. This depends. Now, DoorDash was the same way. I'm like, yo, uh, is there a bonus I heard? No, not for your area. So it just depends on your area, what kind of bonus that you can get. So um, links will be in the description of this video. Try to put them in the comment section as well. If you've been thinking about signing up with Uber, I will tell you right now, uh, it was nice. No issues with nobody. Um, everybody got got in, got their ride, dropped them off. I had jazz playing very softly. Music was not blasting. It was on. They could hear, but it was low enough to where if I needed to talk to them, they could. And we wouldn't have to be sound my, huh? I can't hear. Turn your radio down, huh? So uh, get your ratings up as well. As you, you know, every ride will have a particular star by it. So when you take that ride, understand that there is a star next to it. Okay, so let me see if I can go to, uh, let's go to account. So, uh, there is a spot in here. And I will say this. Um, your background check is what takes the longest. Took about two to three days. And once that came in, I was able to start driving. So, uh, but anyway, folks, $102, three hours and 50 minutes, 49 minutes. So I'm going to be out there and I'm going to hit the streets for about eight hours tomorrow. And I'm going to see what it do. Take a break in between. Work four hours. Stop at 12. Take a break. It's different from the, um, from the DoorDash because DoorDash has its peak times and day at times. Uber is always busy, okay? Don't think that you're going to stay in one particular spot in your city. Let it take you wherever, okay? Let it take you wherever it takes you because you could get into some spots to where the gigs, the rides pay $15, $20, $25, okay? So just trust and believe on that part. All right, folks, uh, I will talk to you on the next video. I'm going to be pumping some more videos for Uber. Uh, click the links in the description and the comment section and get signed up. Deuces.